Hey, what's up? It's James from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to list the top 10 most anticipated upcoming Chinese historical fantasy dramas slated to premiere in the second half of 2023 on Tencent, IGE, Yoku, and Mango TV. You should add to your watch list. If you're a fan of the mesmerizing world of Chinese costume Xianxia fantasy dramas and their captivating love stories, you won't want to miss this video. Some of the dramas featured on this list are considered S plus dramas, boasting high production values that promise stunning visuals. Prepare to be enchanted by the breathtaking aesthetics these dramas have to offer. Be sure to let me know in the comments which of these upcoming fantasy dramas you're most excited about for the second half of 2023. Towards the end of the video, I'll also be giving honorable mentions to a few more Chinese costume Xianxiao fantasy dramas set to premiere in the second half of 2023. You wouldn't want to overlook these hidden gems, so make sure to add them to your watch list too. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. Number 1. Lost You Forever, starring Yang Zi, Zhang Wanyi, Deng Wei, and Tan Jian Si. Lost You Forever is based on a novel series, and it tells the love story of love and grief between a young maiden, her cousin, a noble, and a general. Yang Zi plays a girl who runs away from home and gets kidnapped and tortured by a nine-tailed fox. She manages to escape and settles down in a village as a doctor, and she meets Deng Wei's character, who was injured but she cures him, and their love blossoms. She later meets Tan Jian Si's character, a general who always blackmailed her to give him medicine, or else he'll take her life. She later gets found by her cousin, played by Zhang Wanyi, who takes her back home. Lost You Forever has a stellar cast, and I can't wait for it to premiere. Zhang Wanyi's last historical drama to air is the 2021 drama Weaving a Tale of Love, where he played a supporting role, and this drama is his first costume fantasy drama, Tan Jianzi's last historical drama to air is the 2021 drama Court Lady, where he played the second male lead, and this is also his first costume fantasy drama. And I am also looking forward to his upcoming historical BL drama, Winner is King, co-starring Chan Joyan. Lost You Forever is slated for 50 plus episodes, and it will premiere this summer on Tencent. Number 2. Love You Seven Times, starring Ryan Ding and Yang Chaoyu. Yang Chaoyu plays Xiang Yun, a girl who was originally a cloud turned into a fairy by Yu Lao, the god of marriage and love in Chinese mythology. Ryan Ding plays Chu Kong, a boy who accidentally broke into Yu Lao's pavilion. Whilst quarreling with Xiang Yun one time, they unintentionally messed up Yu Lao's red thread thus wreaking havoc in the three realms, and this begins their cycle through seven lifetimes to fulfill the Jade Emperor's punishment before they can return to the heavenly realm. Love You Seven Times is slated for 36 episodes, and it will premiere this summer on Aichi. Number 3. Love Never Fails, starring Crystal Yuan and Liu Shui. Love Never Fails is adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells a story of a millennium entangled love between a thousand-year-old camellia demon and the Zhongtian king. Crystal Yuan plays a little camellia demon who's cultivating to become an immortal after she boldly confessed her love and desire to marry Jin Xiu, played by Liu Xiei, who's the king of heaven in charge of Zhongtian. When Hongning confesses her love to Jin Xiu, she gets rejected, and he tells her to focus on cultivation instead. She then spends hundreds of years cultivating to achieve her goal, but begins to consider abandoning her path to cultivation when she finds out Jin Xiu is going to marry someone else. This is Crystal Yuan and Liu Shui's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit costume Xian Sha fantasy romance drama Love and Redemption. Love Never Fails is slated for 40 episodes and it's rumored to premiere sometime this year on Mango TV. Number 4. The Demon Hunter's Romance, starring Alan Ren and Song Zuar. The Demon Hunter's Romance is a 36 episode drama that tells the story of a forbidden romance between a black leopard demon of the fairy's soul, played by Alan Wren, and a human with a demonic heart, 
played by Song Zuar. There's a nine-year age gap between Alan Ren and Song Zuar, and I can't wait to see how that plays out in the drama. Anyway, Song Zuar's last costume drama to air is the 2020 costume fantasy drama Guardians of the Ancient Oath, co-starring Liu Wu and Xuan Yan. Xuan Yan also plays a supporting role in this drama, so this is Song Zuar and Xuan Yan's second reunion. Number 5. Destiny and Saving, starring Tong Menshi and Zhang Yuxi. Destiny and Saving is a 40-episode drama that tells the story of the fight between the righteous sect and the demon sect that has been going on for thousands of years. The leader of the right path and the demon star master fought a decisive battle, but years later, the younger generations of the two became friends by chance. To protect his master, Shen Xiaoyu, played by Tong Menshi, pushed Feng Li Shui, played by Zhang Yuxi, off the cliff, but she was rescued and taken away by the first master of the demon cult. The fate of the two has since been rewritten. Feng Li Shu is set to become the leader of the demon cult, while Shen Xiaoyu will become the leader of the right path, and they're destined to meet and kill each other. Number 6. Battle Through the Heavens Season 2 Starring He Luo Luo and Ding Xiaoying Battle Through the Heavens, also known as Fights Break Sphere, is a 2018 costume fantasy romance drama that starred Liu Wu and Jelly Lin. The drama is adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Xiao Yan, a genius child who suddenly loses all his powers in a world governed by strength and power, so he becomes an embarrassment to his family. When he reaches 15 years old, he accidentally summons Yao Lao from his mother's ring, and with his help, his skills improve by leaps and bounds. When his whole family gets assassinated, he embarks on a journey to find his family's killer and return peace to the martial world. This is one of my favorite dramas, but it ended with a cliffhanger, so fans have been looking forward to a sequel. He Luo Luo will replace Liu Wu as the main male lead, and Ding Xiaoying is going to play the role of the main female lead. It's sad to say this, but the original cast of season 1 won't return for the sequel. The drama's production team is keeping a low profile, so I couldn't find much info regarding the drama's plot for the second season, but my guess is season 2 will probably pick up where season 1 ended. Number 7. Chinese Paladin 4, starring Chen Zhiyan and Zhu Jingyi. The Chinese Paladin franchise is adapted from a series of video games known as The Legend of Sword and Fairy, and the most famous drama adaptation is the 2005 drama Chinese Paladin, which starred Hu Ge and Crystal Liu. Chinese Paladin 4 is considered to be the prequel to Chinese Paladin 3. The Chinese Paladin franchise is a classic and one of the most loved and well-developed video games, which tells a touching story at its core. Chen Zhiyuan plays Yun Tianhe, a man who had been living alone on a mountaintop. One day, he sets out on a hunting trip where he meets Han Ling Sha, and they set out on a journey to uncover his parents' death as he also embarks on a journey towards immortal cultivation. Zhu Jingyi plays Han Ling Sha, a young lady from a clan of short-lived tomb raiders. Along their journey, they befriended Murong Ziying, played by Mao Zijun, a skilled and kind swordmaster who has trained at Mount Kunlun's Qionghua school from a young age, and the adopted daughter of the magistrate Liu Mengli, played by Mao Shaohui. Chinese Paladin 4 is slated for 48 episodes, and it's set to premiere sometime this year on Ichii. Number 8. Paladin Legend, starring He Yu and Yang Yu Tong. Paladin Legend is a 40-episode drama that is a remake of the 2005 classic costume fantasy romance drama Chinese Paladin, starring Hu Ge and Crystal Liu. The drama's production team released its first photo stills and a trailer on November 2, 2022, to mixed reviews from netizens, because they think this remake doesn't live up to the original, but let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Anyway, Paladin Legend tells the story of He Yu's character, a boy who was an orphan at a young age, who later meets Yang Yu Tong's character, a girl who attempts to break into his father's tomb. They later embark on a journey together as he searches for his true identity. 
Along his way, he finds love and meets new friends with whom he embarks on a journey as he believes his destiny lies in his hands. With the help of his friends, they fight demons and protect the common people. Number 9. Go Princess Go 2, starring Chen Zhiyan and Wu Xianyi. Go Princess Go 2 is a 30-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name by author Xian Cheng. Wu Xianyi plays Qi Pa, a princess obsessed with good looks who marries the Wolf King, played by Chen Zhiyun, a man who goes by two different personas. This drama is said to be the sequel to the 2015 historical romance drama Go Princess Go, which starred Zhang Tian Ai and Peter Sheng. Number 10, Tiger and Crane, starring Jiang Long, Zhang Linghe, and Wang Yuan. Tiger and Crane is a 36 episode drama, and in a twist of fate, Pu Zi, played by Jiang Long, an optimistic and lively mountain orphan, unintentionally consumes the Sun's treasure and encounters Qi Xiaoshuan, played by Zhang Linghe, a stern imperial demon master. Despite their contrasting personalities, they are bound together on a journey compelled by a red pearl, where they cross paths with Zhao Xintong, Wang Yuchan, Shan Cha, and others played by Wang Yuan, Chen Yue, and Ye Qing, respectively. Initially reluctant partners, they gradually evolve into trusted friends as they unravel the grand conspiracy orchestrated by Guo Yu Yao Shi and uncover the truth behind a war that took place five centuries ago. The demon army, suppressed for half a millennium, prepares to unleash chaos upon the world. In the face of imminent catastrophe, fueled by the ambitions of both the human and demon realms, this group of passionate young individuals stands ready to make any sacrifice necessary to save the world and protect one another. Let me give a quick honorable mention to some upcoming Chinese costume Xianxia fantasy dramas slated to premiere in the second half of 2023. You should add to your watch list as well. Blooming, starring Alan Feng and Huang Ying. Alan Feng plays Cui Chen, Zhao Tantan's senior brother who has a magic flower on his forehead. Whenever he gets emotional, the flower on his forehead blooms. To prevent the magic flower from falling into the hands of the demon, Zhao Tantan, played by Huang Ying, persuaded his senior brother to recite more scriptures to make him calm. An Eternal Thought, starring Zheng Ye Chun and Sun Yi. White Cat Legend, starring Ryan Ding and Zhou Xi. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. Or you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a dollar or more and I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description down below. Feel free to share your anticipation for any of these exciting upcoming fantasy dramas in the second half of 2023 in the comment section below. I'd love to hear which ones you're most excited about. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.